The ski season has officially started. Resorts around the country are offering an escape from the holiday chaos with a day or night out on the slopes. Karen Locke with the travel blog Sand and Snow is here to help families plan the perfect mountain getaway. So good to see you again. So good to see both of you. Yay, I get both of you. I know. So <laughs> this is wonderful. And you know, this is a lot of fun. A lot of families in our area hit the slopes in Western PA. We know this is a big family trip. Oh yeah, and these places that I've chosen are great for new skiers, for expert skiers. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna have fun. Right. Yeah. And let's start at Seven Springs. Yeah. Okay, we have to start at Seven Springs, right? Because that seems to be the most popular in the area. It is a full resort experience in our neck of the woods, which I love. They have on-property lodging. We'll talk about that in a second, but they do have ski slopes that are great for everybody, from beginners, people that need to learn. There are lessons. Right. They do rentals. They have snow tubing, but inside the lodge is where I love it best. They're, they have so much to do. Right. They have a bowling alley, an arcade, an indoor pool. They have mini golf. 12 restaurants. Wow. And I think I just saw something yeah. about the Foggy Goggle oh. getting some sort of uh, award it's recently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so much fun. Ski, a little, yes. A yes. Bit of fun. Absolutely. Yeah. There's the smaller one, Hidden Valley Resort. It's not right. far from there. That's next on my list. <laughs> so let's talk about Hidden Valley Resort again in the Laurel Highlands area. Now this one doesn't have on property lodging, but you can stay at Seven Springs mm -hmm. and just commute back and forth and, and purchase a day pass. So again, like I said, no lodging, but this is great for beginners or never ever skiers, we call them now. So those that have never hit the slopes. Right. Ski rentals, lots of, um, Lots of really good ski terrain, just great for a day trip. Oh, and it has night skiing, which oh, is so oh, much fun. So fun. So beautiful. I'm a never ever yeah. skier. A never so ever? Funny, yeah. You <laughs> have to get you on the slopes oh, then. It's been, honestly, for me, I think I was in eighth grade the last time I went skiing. So it's been a while for well, me too. Well, we've got to get you both <laughs> on the slopes. Uh, I'm, I'm more of the foggy goggle gal. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's afterwards. talk about uh, Lori, Laurel Mountain. So again, Laurel Highlands, this is the last of the three, I promise. Yeah. It is closer to um, Ligonier. A, no on property lodging, so book book a cabin, book right. an Airbnb, and go and ski. Now this place is good for expert skiers or moderate skiers because it has some of the steepest ski terrain in all of Pennsylvania, wow. which you wouldn't expect. Lots of restaurants, great for kids, the lot. Okay, and then the Snowshoe Mountain. It's a little further. East? Do you know of Snowshoe Mountain? I know, no, Snowshoe, I know. yeah. I love that. Snowshoe Mountain is where I learned to ski. It's in mm -hmm. Snow, Snowshoe, West Virginia, which is about four hours away okay, from yeah. Pittsburgh. So it's quite a trek, yeah. but it's well worth it because it's got that really cool ski, almost like a city, a small village feel in the middle of West Virginia. Oh, look I at love this. So much. I know, isn't it gorgeous? Wait, that is really cute. It's My like a Hallmark husband Christmas movie. grew up in West Virginia, and I, I think that he frequented this place. It's like a Christmas card yeah. where you go. So there's a spa which I love, indoor, indoor and outdoor pools. Yeah. I have been in the outdoor pools when it was 20 below and you feel like you've gotten antiqued. It's so much <laughs> oh, fun. It. Really good learning program. It's called terrain-based learning where you start on flat ground mm -hmm. and eventually work your way up into carving and stopping one of the best beginner hills I've ever been on. That's one. It looks like so much fun. When you talk about trips, I start to plan mm -hmm. them in my head. I don't know if you're yeah. doing the same, but I'm already thinking like, yeah. oh, we could do a little trip and invite some family to meet us. Well, I replan. I'm like, oh, I need to get back there. <laughs> um, this one I've never heard of, Peak and Peak. Peak and Peak. Yeah. So if you talk to people who are really <laughs> you know, this there, there are like, like, what? Come on. Knows. If you talk to people who are skiers or avid skiers around Pittsburgh, Peak and Peak is one of the most popular places they go out of the city and, and the state. So it's in Clymer, New York. Really cool on property lodging. The inn at the Peak is really good. Indoor pool. Um, it has a play zone for kiddos. So you oh, can drop true. them off and go skiing by yourself. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to dining, everything from just casual, laid back to rustic elegant. I love oh, it. Nice. We've got Round Top Mountain Resort. I've never heard of that one either. Round Top is another one. It's under the Veil umbrella like the first three are. Okay. It's closer to Harrisburg, so it's kind of in the middle of the state. Yeah. Now, no on property lodging, but we know how much I love Hershey, Pennsylvania, and their lodges. I love Hershey. So you can stay at Hershey Lodge, you can stay at Hershey Hotel, very swanky afterwards, and just commute back and forth. This mountain is known as the Fun Mountain because it's so family friendly. It's great for beginners, great for families, all the food. Oh, that's a, a wonderful nice family getaway. Yeah. Uh, can we talk about this epic pass? What is this? Is this specific? to one resort or many? An Epic Pass is for Vail Resorts. I believe the cutoff
is either this week, it's, it's very close if it hasn't, but you can get an epic day pass and you just go online for that. It works for all of their resorts because we're they're now under the Vail umbrella, which is great. So more resorts to choose from around the country. That's really nice to hear. Yeah. I don't know, see, for Everything's me. Everything's so close too. It, yes. It is. For me, I the cold, I can't do the cold and the wind on my face, but I will. you will find me in the lodge I'll by the fire. I'll find you in the lodge. Yeah. A foggy goggle. Yeah, yep. exactly. Fine, I'll do the slopes. <laughs> You do the drinks. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. And if you're interested in learning more about these ski resorts and checking out Karen's blog, we'll have links on our website, kdqa.com slash talkpittsburgh.